Hoosiers across the world are mourning the loss of one of Indiana's most decorated politicians. Former Senator Richard Luger passed away today at the age of 87. Wayne 15's Ruben Solis joins us in studio with more on how he's being remembered. Kaitra, the news of Senator Luger's passing came early this afternoon. Tonight, reaction keeps pouring in along with praise for the longtime U.S. Senator. Senator Luger was really not a politician. He was a statesman. That is how chairman of the Allen County Republican Party, Steve Shine, is remembering former Senator Richard Luger tonight. The two shared numerous moments together, both professionally and personally. Senator Luger and I were, were very good friends. Uh, back in the 80s, uh, when both of us were able to do it a little bit better, uh, we used to jog regularly uh, several miles on the Concordia uh, Lutheran College campus. And like Shine, dozens sharing memories of their time with Senator Luger. Former President Barack Obama tweeting this out saying, quote, for 36 years, Richard Luger proved that pragmatism and decency work not only in Washington, but all over the world. Vice President Mike Pence saying, quote, Senator Luger's contributions to the life of our nation are countless. Senator Mike Braun also praising Luger as a towering figure in Hoosier history and more praise from other bipartisan political figures. He was well respected among Republicans and Democrats and he was also respected among uh, presidents and leaders, prime ministers of foreign countries because of his innate sense and knowledge uh, of world affairs. Luger became known as a foreign policy powerhouse who championed nuclear nonproliferation during his 36 years in the U.S. Senate. He leaves a hole in the hearts of many, one that Shine says could never be filled. Dick Luger is an attribute uh, to the citizens of uh, Indiana and he will forever be remembered as a consummate diplomat and statesman. In a statement, the Luger Center said Senator Luger died in a hospital in Virginia from complications of a neurological disorder. He is survived by his wife, four sons, and their families. In studio, Ruben Solis, Wayne 15 News.